Hello, and welcome to Vagrant Hippopotamus. Today, we are looking at Dick Tracy cards based off of the movie, <clears throat> which is based off the comics. The movie from the nineteen from 1990, not like, not the set four or five movies from the 40s. There's older movies? Yeah, I showed you those on uh, Tubi. Oh, frick. There's a few of them on there. We should watch They're those like as well. hour-long movies. Because I, I enjoyed the... The movie we watched recently, that was actually really fun. Well, you're the only one who enjoyed it. No. I mean, I enjoyed it, but nobody else did. But yeah, so that's what these are based <coughs> off of, and there are quite a bit of them. I think these are the stickers, by yeah, the way. Yeah, there's uh, 88 cards and 11 stickers, so this might be a slightly lengthy video. It might be a little long, but it's going to be fun. seven right now, like in the evening, so... Yeah. This is very compact. If you can get them open, that is. Yes, I think I can. Good job. I think I can. Like a train. No, just the one train. Okay, there. I have them. This is a surprisingly well packaged. <laughs> Anyways. I'm gonna... Set these bad boys. Oh, I think the stickers might form a poster too. That'll be fun. So we have to stick them specifically on something. Though? Yeah, we'll just lay it flat on the table and show. Oh, it. hey, it's the brow, right? We'll get to it. <laughs> All right. This is Dick Tracy. Thank you. I think they can read. But, well, what? Well, would anyone? Or how many people do you think would know about who this character even is? Because he I, was an older character when we were born. I guarantee a good amount of people from the 90s probably played the Sega game, which is how I was introduced to the series. I didn't even know there was anything but the Sega game until just a few you years didn't know, ago. You didn't know it was based on comics? Nope, I did not. <laughs> well, for anyone that doesn't know, Dick Tracy is a detective. Yes. And he usually wears a uh, yellow... Um, a yellow uh, trench coat and hat, you know, yes. like the kind of like the man in uh, man in the yellow hat from Curious George. This, only this character is older. Yeah, this is a lot older. <laughs> Anyways, let's. Uh... Well, is it a lot older? When did, was Curious George even a thing? Oh crap! There's information on all of them. Frick. He's cool. He's tough. He's an honest cop and a timeless hero with. Without oh, peer. Yeah, without peer. The name Dick Tracy. Excitement, action, drama? Question mark? <laughs> you name it. This crime buster delivers it. Continue on card number three. Oh, Our man. Big boy, Price. Caprice? Oh, Caprice. yeah. The char the main villain of the movie, played by freaking Al Pacino, oh. of all people. Are these going in order again? Yeah, these yep. are going in order again. Shit. My bad. It's just like the... Okay. Yeah, I guess the movie is from 1990. Yeah, I, I said it was from 19... My bad, I didn't even think about that, but... Okay. Well, let's uh, put them back in order, actually. Yes, I can, I can do that. And this is Al. Yeah, again, Big Al Pacino. <laughs> Played by another Al, Al Pacino, like I mentioned. <laughs> he was hilarious in this movie. He was weird in this movie, just like everyone else. That is true. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to read all this. There's a lot of words. But... Oh, yeah, and her. Uh, Breathless Mahani? Yeah, she was played by... I think it said she was played by Madonna in the movie. That's cool. I mean... <clears throat> I mean, a picture of her is right there, but I haven't seen enough stuff with Madonna in it. In it. True. Yeah. yeah, and we're not going to... Uh, we're not going to, like, do all that... This would uh, be a very long video if we read through it all. Yeah, like our Time Splitters 2 videos and the Future Perfect videos, which we're going to start this weekend, I think. Or no, on Tuesday. We're going to start them on Tuesday. I mean, don't record more than five minutes. <laughs> I mean. It's going to be longer than that. Text phone. True Heart. Yeah, his GF. Indeed. I don't remember them saying her last name, to be honest. Well, I I mean, you'd know who the characters are if you read the comics, mostly, but... True. 
Move it's it. the kid. <laughs> he literally didn't get a name until like the last ten minutes of the movie. He decided on that name. Yeah, he chose they, it himself. Yeah. Oof. Just named himself after... Oh, Jesus. That was weird. Just named himself... He just wanted to be a junior. Uh, named himself after our protagonist. Because I'm pretty sure he and... Uh, Tr- Dick Tracy and uh, Tess actually do adopt the character in the comics as well. I would like to read the comics at some point. Because like I said, I, I was a big fan of the uh, the game when I was younger. and Yeah, I think we'll just... Uh, instead of reading all these out, I think we'll just talk about the movie and stuff while yes. we actually go through them. Oh, Lips no. Lips manless. <laughs> this was... Oh, my God. Seriously? This was the most... Uh, his part in the movie was the most uncomfortable I've ever been in a movie. Yo, I don't ever want to watch someone eat scallops ever again. Was it scallops or... It was some kind of... Uh, shelled. Sh- it was some kind of shelled sea creature. It was gross. Either way. Are you really supposed to just suck them out of the shell, yeah, though? Yeah, I think you just suck it right out. Clams, so you don't oysters, just like don't so you know. don't just scoop it up with a spoon or a spork. This guy, I actually uh, guessed his name, and, and, like I was just saying it as a joke, but uh, flat top. The name is self-explanatory. And like, and they have, I'm sure, like uh, some uh, a lot of the major Dick Tracy villains in this movie, and they all freaking die by the end. <laughs> yeah. In fact, him and one of the other characters, yeah, this character Itchy. Uh, Dick Tracy actually kills himself. Like the dude literally just guns these these guys down in the street. Yeah, gets pretty wild. I mean, after they were trying yeah. to escape from the police, obviously. But Jake Itchy Rossi. Oh, his name is Jake. They were only they called him Itchy because he was very itchy. Yeah, I mean that's all they called him. I don't think they ever called him Jake or even by his last name. They just called him Itchy. Like it. I'm pretty sure the comics just call him, usually just call him that too. One of Big Boy's henchmen. <clears throat> Influence. How ironic. He's called Big Boy, but he was actually the smallest character. I love this scene. Just like everyone grabbed the Tommy gun. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It was, uh, it was old in American times, but not like, but not uh, Western old in American times. So everyone had a Tommy gun. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Prune Face. If I remember correctly, he didn't last very long. If I remember correctly, when I looked it up, in the comics, he's a Nazi. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> well, at least we know who the true bad guys are. Prune Face. Oh, yeah. All the, oh, and all, oh, the character, all the characters in the series are really weird looking. And, and their names are very on the nose, which is kind of amusing, to be honest. And I don't know. I haven't read enough of the comics to know... So I don't know if it's accurate to it, but uh, everyone in the movie was just wearing really vibrant colored suits. I love the color. Like the bad guys and the cops. Uh, anyways, I guess this is a oh, little face. Oh my gosh, why is it I think it's because I keep like bringing it close so we can actually see the words. This dude's head is enormous, Well, just keep it the back way. then. Okay. Like we didn't have, we made almost another, we made an, uh, oh my god. We made another almost hour long video uh, like last week and... The we bride. didn't have that problem. Oh yeah, he's the first one the stickers are, uh, are of. Oh my god, I can't speak tonight. They should have named this dude Eddie Five Bro. Didn't he die at the beginning too? Yeah, he was. Yeah, him, and, he was him and Little Face yeah, were like some face. were like five or six bad guys who just who uh, they were like Itchy uh, and uh, Flat Top just assassinated. Yeah, they were like a competing mafia group or something, but they didn't give us explanation. It's just, oh man, we're playing poker or some shit because well, we're bad movies guys. movies like this, I'm pretty <laughs> sure are meant for people who know what the franchise is. Probably, but I loved it. Like there, there was definitely a large amount of cheesiness to it, but it was so enjoyable just through and through. The Rodent? I don't remember this guy. He was probably part of that group again. Probably. He's got the he's got the largest nose and the smallest chin. <laughs> uh, small, slippery, and silent. The rodent is aptly named. This petty thief will steal from his friends and foe alike. I mean, a rat. He's a rat. No, he's a rodent. Be nice. <laughs> All right. Oh All man, right. shoulders. Can't even see the ends of them. I mean, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just love. 
God, this is great. I don't know, it's a ridiculous series, and I, I actually do want to read the more of the original comics. I want to try the game again, even though I know it was like incredibly hard. I don't even think I ever made it past the third level, to be honest. Well, yeah, games like that they weren't usually very long, so they had to be really difficult. So you got your like eighty dollars worth, or however the hell yeah. much money they cost. It's the stooge. Where are the other two? <laughs> They're gone already. It's a Three Stooges joke for anyone who didn't know. Oh yeah. Though anyone who clicked on who clicks on the video with these cards, I'm pretty sure they'd know who the street three street Stooges three Stooges are. Hey, it's Steve the Tramp. I think this is the dude who uh, like had that kid, <laughs> the kid. And oh, he's just like, oh yeah, and his house just falls down. Well, it was after, like, Dick Tracy beat him up, but yeah, I threw him through the shot side of his crappy shack. Crap shack, if you will. <laughs> and we were joking about how it looked like it was going to fall over. Well, we were in the middle of joking about that, and it actually did. <laughs> and then we laughed even harder about it. Yeah. He's a dirty bum that hangs out on the streets. <laughs> lives in a shack. Oh, used to. <laughs> I don't think they needed anything past he's a dirty bum. I mean, it got the point across. The elusive man. Not blank. really. The blank. We've been playing a lot of Mass Effect. It's good. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. We've been playing through the Mass Effect series. <clears throat> Faceless Stranger with a really weird voice. Well, we already know why. And yeah. anyone who watched the movie knows why, too. The game is Felon's Play. I think this is the scene. Like... Little, Except it's really little face like, is like right off to the side, but yeah, it's kind of. Why is it so like red in this picture? It's very saturated. It's kind of strange, but I dig it. I mean, these characters are kind of strange, so I guess it's fitting. Wait, did you? Uh, yeah, oh. show the information. Not yeah. bad. Yeah, we're not gonna just read through everything on the back because that would be like a two-hour video. And dude, no, you're putting them on. Oh, I put that one on wrong. My bad. Yeah, you did. Uh, you put up. You put, uh, oh my god. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, crashing the poker party. This is just gonna, like, walk us through the entire movie, isn't it? I mean, maybe. It has to introduce us to the cast first, especially these characters who appear in one scene and get murdered and never are even mentioned again. <laughs> right? A black sedan. Fill the flat top and his goons. Machine gun maniac. It's flat top, by the way. I like how Flat Top just kind of reminds me of Hammerhead from Marvel Comics. They're essentially the same oh, character. Yeah, we, I, you showed me that. They, they do look almost exactly the same, which is... Even though... I, this, I guarantee this is older, but... Well, yeah. Though <laughs> Flat Top doesn't have a, a, a metal plate in his, uh, uh, in his head. That's why Hammerhead's head is flat, because uh, he rams into things. <laughs> and it flattens the top of his head. Because he's freaking stupid. Uh, I mean, the dude has a gun half the time. Why not just shoot somebody if you need to kill them? Hey, sometimes you just really want to headbutt people. For him, it's literally a lifestyle. Or if he's playing, or if you're, or if he's fighting Spider-Man, because can't have, can't risk killing the hero. There'd be no comics or games. I mean, that's true. Plot convenience, or how do we say plot armor? Anyways, the party's over. This is the end of that scene. They're like, oh man, we killed all the dudes we needed to kill. Let's steal their crap and get hey, out of here. I got here. the bloodlust in me. I got the bloodlust in me. Whoops. That is a different card. I am stuck. Give me a moment. There we go. Ooh, classic. Dick Tracy. Give me one moment. Okay. That's the back of that one. Firing up the communication watch. Call Dick. Oh yeah, they did do that at the scene. They cheesily, like... Shot a bunch of words out. Eat lead, Tracy. Yeah, that's what, flat top shot it into the wall with a Tommy gun. I'd like to see anyone actually do that in real life. We saw it in the movie. Are you saying that wasn't real life? <laughs> um, says that. I don't. I don't know how to put most of these. To be honest, we'll figure it out though. There's his classic uh, getup. Yeah, and I actually something fun, funny. Uh, it was actually the Dick Tracy series that popularized the whole, like, communication watch thing. I didn't know that, uh, well, I don't know if it's the same in the comics, but at least in the movie, he's not the only one that has it. All the cops have them. Yeah. I don't, but yeah, I don't know if that's how it is in the comics. <clears throat> if I it is, that'd be like, cool. I dig the communicators, though. It was a pretty neat idea, especially they, since this thing was written in, what, like the 30s or the 40s when the comics were first made? Yeah, it's, I think so, around that time. It's been almost 100 years, and they predicted the uh, freaking smartwatch. Oh, man, they're showing, like, new technology before Star Trek even was. 
Was it really new technology? Oh, wait, yeah. It's just art, I think, that wasn't new in Star Trek. Because isn't that yeah. part of the lore of Star Trek? Like, artistic crap just kind of stopped after the 1980s or something? Pretty much everything. Because it was just, just like, like, art. they thought it was, like, artistically perfect or some shit. I don't know. Like, Star Trek has weird lore, but a lot of it just sounds like you kind of have to just conform to, like, the normalcy of things, or else you're just considered against them or whatever. It's very authoritarian do things, sounding. Do things that humans want or do you get killed. So basically what's we're trying to do in Mass Effect. Hey, I didn't think about it that way. Yeah, because the Federation is uh, humans, right? I believe so, yeah. At least it's not the freaking Klingons. Kingland Revenge. Oh yeah, that was uh, when they got to the crime scene and just covered them up. Oh yeah. I wouldn't have wasted the tarps on this trash. <laughs> Looks nope. like the trash took themselves out. No. That's... No. <laughs> that's... Gangland Revengeance. Oh, man. It's about to happen. That's Captor. Well, we... yeah. We don't... We never actually, like, got the real backstory on these characters, which the comics probably go way more in-depth about. That dude's got one heckin' shin. And he's very sweaty. I'd say you should take a shower, but honestly, there was nothing in that room but, like, a table and a small... It was a room. It, it was lit. It wasn't even a room. It was, like, a quarter of a room. <laughs> hey, the little uh, eating montage for the when they pick up oh the kid God, was also... That... I don't know. I just don't like watching people eat. It's really uncomfortable and And gross. that kid just never stopped eating. Like, I mean, every five minutes, I'm hungry! I mean, <laughs> has he ever eaten? It, it, it didn't look like it, the way he was eating. Oh, man. Dinner at Mike's Diner. I was it this. called Mike's? It might have been called Mike's. Also, I don't know why, but I always got the vibes that he just looked like a young Harrison Ford. <laughs> Not enough pointing. You're right. <laughs> you <laughs> little bastard. <laughs> Harrison Ford uh, wouldn't have put up with this kid's crap. No, he probably just left <laughs> he him. He probably would have beat the crap out of him and then left him. <laughs> Take that, you bastard. Oh, man. Arresting Lips Manless. Did he get arrested? No, he got covered in cement and then dropped into the ocean. Oh, yeah, that's I forgot. Not, this was a ruse. That's not called being arrested. Or if it was, then the, the, uh, the arresting officers wouldn't be cops for very long. Hustle away by law enforcement. Law enforcement. Who turned yeah. out to be big boys, top men. Yeah, you, you probably couldn't... Uh, the... Camera's pointed at the card, so you couldn't say it, but when I, or you couldn't see it, but when I said arrested, I was sure to add finger quotes. <laughs> Big boy in command. I mean, he likes to think he is. Al Pacino having his day. Dude, I like Al Pacino. He's fun. <laughs> I just loved it. Like, the entire scene was just the performers, like, trying to do a damn song, and he was just, like, harassing them the entire time. Hey, he was performing, too, and then he said it wasn't good enough. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you did half the song yourself. He did, like, worse than all of them. It was great. <laughs> Uh, big boy in command. Ye, you already said that. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> it just says the same thing on the back. Lips in a fix. Oh, poor Avery. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab him. All right. Yeah, show the nice people the back of that card. Sounds like a plan, Stan the man. Big boy, ain't we pals? Gasps lips. No pals in this business. Lips. He no taught lips me in that. This pals business. <laughs> Big boy has a habit of. <laughs> Big boy has a habit of cracking walnuts, chewing them thoughtfully, and stuffing the shells into his pocket. Oh yeah, he had a weird thing with walnuts. Oh yeah. Well, he doesn't like good. walnuts. Walnuts is good for you. <laughs> he didn't say it like that, but. Might as well have. <laughs> oh man, a cement bath. Yeah. Look at that. And then they just drop him into the ocean. It's like, couldn't you just cover him in cement and just asphyxiate him? Pretty much. It was weirdly fast. Like, they like, didn't even let it dry. Like, just, bear, just like cover him in cement and bury him under, a, like, an in-construction building. They won't find him then. They'll find him in the damn, like, ocean. I'm not going to lie. They, they just as easily could have, like, just thrown a few rocks in there and drop him in. <laughs> they could have just shot him. I mean, that too. I hate to keep bringing that up, but... Come on, it's the Mafia. It's the mob like, What about it? Uh. Oh. I found it. It's so weird how they keep going back and forth. 
not so friendly visit. The movie was kind of all over the place in itself, but it really did work. No, I mean the design of the cards. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the movie did did like jump between scenes really quickly. They had a lot of story to tell, and it was surprisingly fast paced. But you could keep. And it up was with still it. a two hour movie. Like if they'd I taken know. their time, it could have. It probably would have needed more than one movie. <laughs> to be honest, they could make a series out of it. That it, would be cool. it already is a series. It's been for a while. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, this is when he's interrogating oh. the mumbler. I don't remember his name. Hey, Mumbles. Mumbles, that was it. Oh, I actually forgot something about Pruneface. Not yeah. only was he a Nazi, but I think I read online he was a Nazi who was cryogenically frozen for like a decade or two. <laughs> That's not why his face looks like that. It always does. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like... They everyone tried him out has, too quickly. Like, everyone just looks weird in this series. It's so you know who the bad people are. The bad people are the ones that don't look like humans and who are diff- who are clearly different. Yeah, like these bad. partners in crime. Look at that dude in the back corner. People Actually, are... I think that's prune face, but in this picture, he looks almost like Lurch. Yeah, people... <laughs> remember, everyone, people who look different are bad. <laughs> I guess we're bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> Judge people solely on appearances is what this series is basically uh, telling good us. Good God. I'm joking. I'm pretty sure it was just a quirk for the to make humorously deformed antagonists. Then comics just always had a habit of making people look weird. Well, no, it was only the bad guys. I mean, I know. Like everyone else looked like a normal human kind New of boss of the Ritz. Oh, honestly, like Al Pacino it, making the face. <laughs> like, like he is definitely making that face. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, well, he's go. such a happy bird now. Yeah, he just hey, wanted buddy. to hang out with us. Actually, I think he wants us to put him to bed, but... Well, that ain't happening yet. Avery, you want to go to bed? Okay. Did he ever use that gun? I think he shot it during the gun scene. What like, gun scene? The, the big shootout when they no, tried he to had flee Tom- the garage. No, he had a Tommy gun. Oh, he had a Tommy gun, too? Yeah, he that's how he... He never used this gun. Yeah, he just, like, slaughtered the bad guys in a car while they were in a car with a Tommy gun. Wait, but I remember now. His gun did get used. Just not by him. He was framed. Wait, was that his gun, though? Because I thought, I thought they gun. just put the gun in his hand. Maybe it wasn't That doesn't his gun, mean but... it's his gun. It's not like he has his name engraved on his weapon. That would be kind of stupid. Yeah. But yeah, they, like, knocked him out, murdered someone, and then put the gun in his hand. <laughs> we'll get there. But this really is just telling the story, to be honest. It's also an almost 33-year-old movie. I'm pretty sure if people want, had wanted to see it, they'd have seen it by now. I think it goes the... Confident crook. <laughs> <laughs> he had such amazing expressions in this movie. How can you tell through all the prosthetics? That's why. <laughs> uh... Avery. Like half the, most of the villains look like they just slapped a bunch of flesh-colored silly putty to their faces. Yeah, that's true. Also, going a little off topic, but who here rem- who here remembers like silly putty? I do. Is I, it I still used to always. I think it is. You can buy it online. But my I parents, used to stick it on newspapers. Yep. My parents never liked buying it for us because my brother and I and I would always like lose track of it and it'd get in the carpets and ruin the freaking carpets. Oh and no. They <laughs> That's bad. I mean, they still bought it for us if we made a if we threw enough of a fit. So who really won in the end? Us. Well, you Avery, and your brothers, not me. Hey, what are you doing over there? You can't sleep in there, Avery. He screams into the void. He's trying to get kisses from the void. Like he do, he makes kisses sounds to it. Dude, don't lick the table. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking weirdo. Uh, Al City at City Hall. Al City Hall. <laughs> I mean, it would have been on point. Yeah, I mean, look at these outfits. These three surrounding him are just random characters you never see again after this scene. And and I almost feel like the forties were never this colorful. Unfortunately, at I wish I th- it was. I think that's when it takes place. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, this is gonna be another long video. We're on card thirty nine out of eighty eight. The cop and the kid. I feel like we should be listening, waiting for, to hear some, like, sitcom music. After. I really wish I knew the Dick Tracy theme song, but it's been so long since I've played that game. It's been a while since I've read the comics. I don't remember the theme song. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I thought that's what you were going to say. <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy. It's the food eating scene. Gross family outing. Yeah. yeah, it just kept like cutting from them in the car to him being, I'm hungry, and then them starting at stopping at some restaurant to eat food. And it happened like ten times. <laughs> this kid is a freaking like eating machine. Sorry, that's not entirely what I was giggling at. I was thinking of that warlock uh video uh meme you had again with oh. uh, Christmas story. You'll melt your face, kid. Melt your face. Face off. Dropping Tess off. Another movie you enjoy, Face Off. That that was a pretty good movie. But that's a movie everyone enjoys. I hope so. Let's be honest, that's some of the best Nicolas Cage that we've ever seen. Mm. Mm. Nah. I think it is. I like it, but there's so many Nicolas Cage movies I've watched that I just love. People don't... Some people didn't enjoy uh, Willy's Wonderland. Because he I mean, wasn't, can, because he didn't talk in the movie. But, I can imagine how that's kind of like one of his big things, which yeah, but that's made it more fun. But that's another thing. Part of what makes Nicolas Cage Nicolas Cage is doing stuff through expressions and gestures. Yeah, an entire movie where that's all he does, like that makes you. I don't know. I'd say it makes it you appreciate of that effort. part of him more. Yes. Flat Top's Revenge. I don't know. I really enjoyed the movie. Sorry, getting back to this, though. Yeah, boy. Yep. Yes. Oh, yeah, this was the drive-by where they didn't kill a single goddamn person. Nope. They're really bad at being mafia. Let's I mean, they that. killed a bunch of people at the beginning of the movie because it was just uh, Flat Top and, and the Scratchy Boy again, right? Yes. I didn't realize that Tommy Guns were actually called Thomas something Gun. Thompson. 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 Yeah, because that's the that was the yeah it was the guy's like actual name. I, I guns looked are that usually up the movie, guns but... are usually named after the company that makes them, and those are usually named after oh. the person who founded them. Yeah, but a lot of guns just have like weird code names. It's just like letters and numbers. S and W. But yeah, unexpected caller. Oh no. I mean, I'd be pretty terrified if Madonna just showed up at my place. <laughs> Mostly because I'm pretty sure she's dead. But I don't think she's dead. Isn't she? Is she? I thought she was. I could have sworn she was alive. Just Oh, no, it's not Madonna. Now. Oh, my God. It's Marilyn Monroe that I'm thinking of. Yeah, she's That's dead. That's her player. Oh, my God. I've been saying the wrong fucking name this whole video. I'm so sorry. Friend or gorgeous foe? I mean, if you've seen the movie, you already know the answer to that question, but... We'll get there. I mean, 33-year-old movie, I'm still not going to just spoil it because, you know... It's going to happen, but we'll, we'll get there when things What, that happen. I'm going to spoil it? I'm just inevitably... In, oh my god, inevitably going to ruin things? Oh man, the gang's all here. I love Literally. that song. I'm pretty sure that's... The, that's the, gangs, are all, the gangs are all here. That, that's my favorite uh, Dropkick Murphys song. The, the gang's all here. Do, 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 Dropkick do, do, Murphys, do. please. Any real fan of Irish punk listens to Flog and Molly. The clearly superior band. Yes, exactly. I love Flog and Molly. Sw Swagger is just a beautiful album. That's not even their best album. I think it is. Uh, actually, no. Maybe Drunken Lullabies. That is probably one of their best. Especially oh, the oh, title oh, song. Oh, oh. Is honestly yeah. one of my favorite. What? Call of Evil. Well, I mean, to be fair, what? How much evil stuff have most of them even done? A lot. <laughs> how do you know that? Unless you've read the comics. I most... mean, that's true. I have no idea. Lawman on the ledge. <laughs> Don't jump, Tracy. I'm gonna jump. <laughs> oh wait, no, he was spying on them. Yeah, and then he did jump uh, towards the end, but like he let he. Uh, slid down a light pole? <laughs> you don't jump. I did not jump. I can't take buying that freaking kid more food. <laughs> I need more money. <laughs> I, I need... <laughs> what? He spent all his money on food for the kid. How much money... How much money does a, just a cop in some ran, random city... Wait, well, is it a random city? Does it take... I don't know. I don't... I don't remember... Oh, yeah, this is when he's, like, looking inside the office. Yeah, the scene after the... On the ledge. Yeah. Like this is literally just going. Yeah, I'm sorry. Know. We are we weren't like insanely prepared for this video, but are we ever? I mean, no. <laughs> but that's just the fun of it. 
Whoa, we aren't at that part yet. Spying on the bad guys. I mean, but we I'm bumped. Kind of are, actually. All right. Blast from below. Oh, yeah, the guy that left. Uh, oh, they just, yeah. like, bombed his freaking car because they just knew he wasn't going to join them. Yeah, this mafia dude just, what like, straight up. What if he did up... join them, though? Were they still going to blow his car up? <laughs> you know, they'll just be like, hey, there's a bomb in your car. You might want to be careful. I'm not going to lie, that would probably have ruined the persuasion pretty badly when they were trying to convince all the other mobs to just join up. Because <laughs> that, that was what the whole scene is about. They're just trying to get all the uh, mobs to, like, get together. <laughs> Hi, Avery. <laughs> okay, so I looked it up. Dick Tracy uh, is a cop in a Midwestern city that resembled Chicago, but okay. it's just called the city. The city. There's no, they never <laughs> named the. They never named the city. That's no. kind of weird, actually. A downtown Midwest city. Tearing the streets, you know, after that big old explosion, and Dick Tracy just making a run for it because he watched like. Two people die in a car explosion. Was it only two? I thought it would be at least Dang. a few people. What kind of... Yeah, because wouldn't a crime boss also have a it, couple bodyguards and a driver? It might have been more than two. I really only remember the main guy because he was all, Meh, I'm not going to work with you. Mm. He did not talk like that at all, by the way. I don't remember how he talked. They all talked like 1930s Chicago gangsters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? Where's my bootleg liquor? I don't know. <laughs> A serious observer. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't Al Capone uh, do, operate in New York City? I think so. Because that's who we were just, like, trying to parry. To... Is, that, is that how we talked? I don't know. That's how people always That's how people <laughs> always characterize character, characters like him. But I think he just talked normally. I think people just like getting really, like, cartoony with him. Did you know that he did a weirdly good thing that's actually still used to this day? He did a lot of weirdly good things. Well, okay, well... He was well, supposedly real, actually really active in his community, and... He's actually the main reason why Milk has uh, not only date labeling, but, like, more proper protection under the FDA to make sure I mean, it's actually properly I mean, processed. he was a criminal, but he supposedly, I don't know for a fact, but he supposedly, yeah, actually really did care about people. And actually, and tried to protect people. Like, he definitely did bad things. I'm not but saying he, that, but he made good milk safer to drink. <laughs> and I, I'd heard, again, allegedly, yeah. that he'd actually done charity work, too, on a regular basis, too. Probably. But, I, again, I don't have any actual evidence of that. It's just Behave yourself, I, kid. Behave yourself. Go to the orphanage. <laughs> yeah, they kept doing that. It's like, you need to go. To the orphanage. I mean, that's where orphans go, though. I know. Right into danger. This kid snuck <laughs> on the back of so many freaking cars in this movie. What was the joke? What was the orphan joke in uh, Portal Two that got people upset? I've I've never actually played Portal Two, so I don't, remember, <laughs> I know, I don't know. He made, I know he called uh, Shell something, uh, or he made a joke about orphans or something. Uh, Wheatley, I believe it was. <laughs> Surrounded by his foes. Oh, yeah, this scene, uh, Dick Tracy was captured and brought, for whatever reason, into his girlfriend's basement. <laughs> so they could, like, try and um, convince him with a large sum of money to work for them. You know, the, the whole under-the-table crooked cop side of the spiel. I mean, hey, you can be... Uh... Oh, well, I guess this is a better picture for it. Craptive. Captive crime fighter. Craptive crime fighter. I accidentally said that backwards. Yeah, that's 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 exactly where I was going with that. My bad. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's what they blew up was a freaking boiler. Oh, yeah, and it took a weirdly long time to actually blow up. I, I did love that, like, really cheesy... As the, like, meter just kind of, like, maxed out. Yeah, I mean, you gotta know when it's about to explode so the hero can survive. <laughs> you know, it's always that countdown to one. The bribe. Oh, it's literally showing exactly what I just mentioned. Because they tried to give him money to work for them. The bribe. A hot time for Tracy. <laughs> oh yeah, they smashed one of the pipes with like a wrench or some crap. A. Hey. Wait, no, I don't think uh, anyone will see that. My mom just texted me. Nah, that won't. Too bad. My mom is nice. Safety valves. <laughs> Kid to the rescue. Oh, yeah, because 
<laughs> oh yeah, okay, I found the Wheatley joke, or comment, that's what I said. Wow. <laughs> Adopted fatty fatty no parents. <laughs> what the hell? And that was like the main bad robot? Yeah, he's a moron. So he'll I, tell you otherwise. I mean, I, I listened to his monologue while he was floating through space, despite never playing the game. That's the very end of the game. Oh, though. I know. I, I I really like that uh, ending song. Do 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 do. I only want you gone. Hey, my thumb is in the way. My bad. All right. This is just like our cringiest video we've made in a while. No, I think. this is awesome. This is great. I love these cards. No, I just mean like in terms of things we're talking about. We're not talking oh. about the movie as much. Well, we always get off topic, though. Oh, yeah, and they, like, just got out of the house as it exploded, so I don't know. Did Tess just, like, move in with Tracy for a bit, or how did that work? I don't think I they mean, ever I know in the comics they... they get married, but I don't think they explained what happened. Oh, uh, they kind of broke up in the movie, and she moved in with uh, her mom, I think. Or oh, something. yeah, that. <laughs> Whoops. Confronting Breathless. Is that really her name? Yes. I don't remember. Yeah, I guess that was her name. Nice. What? Okay. Sultry and seductive. Boy, my thumb is, my big fat thumb is just getting run away every time. Yeah, see, you get it. Now that's what I call a dame. <laughs> that's an old word. Nobody calls them that anymore. Them, oh my god. Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you shouldn't refer to women as them, alright? Tracy takes aim against crime. <laughs> Literally. Oh, there's he's shooting his gun, I think. Oh. Yeah, uh, this is fun. You're under arrest. I can't remember who he took in this time. Is that like Prune Face or something? It's Prune Face. Doo -doo. Got your beak, Avery. Oh, no, no, it was uh, Al. Oh. Because they, they arrested him a couple times, I oh, think. Oh, yeah, and then he just got out right away because, you know, that's what happens when you're rich and powerful and evil. Was it? <laughs> we got to deal with Tracy. I'm really bad with accents, by the way. Uh, I think it's just the one accent. <laughs> uh, hard driving detective. This was a really fun movie, though. Yeah, I like uh, the movie. I don't know. We're we've been getting off topic, and we haven't had as much to say about about it because this is already kind of a long video, and we still have a few left. Not a lot. Oh yeah, that was one of the other cops that fucked that fucked up their, uh, their okay, uh, so... scouting thing, their uh, information gathering because the dumbass spilt his fucking coffee. So this dude like broke into the mafia's like main headquarters and just bugged hit the in, place. Like, yeah, like. He's just sitting up he in was, the attic. He was doing well. Then he knocked over his coffee and it dripped through the ceiling where he was onto some paperwork or something that the bad guys were actually looking over. So they freaking yeah. knew he was there because he's stupid. You know, I wonder which one came first, Bug Bailey or Beetle Bailey? I mean, Beetle Bailey is an old comic strip, but... Either way. Here's the back <laughs> But Bailey's also a name, so I don't think it really actually matters. True. But but once again, his name is just right on point because he's the tap guy. He's the one who does the tapping observed from above. Oh, I think this is like... Yeah, that's th when that's it That's the paperwork, so it's just like dripping off of the lamp onto the... <laughs> oh, <laughs> this no. is actually kind of funny. Then oh, they're just no. like... They're like panicking. Oh, yeah, like this is the event anything. after. Oh, no, I remember what they did. They, uh... They gave him wrong information. Yeah, they like purposely sent him to some warehouse or some crap to... Oh, uh, Bugs Blunder. You dumb shit. <laughs> you ruined our espionage. <laughs> yeah, after cracking down on like a good dozen or so people. 
Yeah, that was actually a cool sequence because they were just like taking information of all of uh, Big Boy's uh, freaking crimes. So Dick Tracy was there to uh, with the cops to stop them at every turn. Yeah, point. stopping all that illegal drug and um, I assume it's drugs gambling things. There's a lot of gambling going on too. Another cement shower. Oh yeah. Huh. Yeah, and they almost uh, kill uh, killed Dick Tracy. That because that's what because that's why they led him to that place where there wasn't actually a crime going on, was so they could actually like take him out. But What's weird? Don't. Look at the uh, his bird beak. coat. What's up? They're different colors. <laughs> like the one down here is like more greener, and that one's like a tan. Oh, I think it was originally Bug that was captured, and Dick Tracy tried to... Oh, yeah, he swapped out with him, which was really weird, but... On the waterfront. It's actually a good movie, from what I remember. Twist. On the waterfront? Yes. What's yep. that? Oh, it was, uh... It's an, old, it was a, it's an older movie. I have not seen it since I was in freaking high school, uh, my film study class in high school. But it had, uh... It was one of the first movies, if not... Actually, no, I think it was the first movie that uh, Marlon Brando starred in. Really? Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. He died a while back, too, didn't he? I think he did, yeah. Like, I think he died in, like, the early 90s, maybe? Or... I'd have to look up when Marlon <laughs> Brando passed away. He he had been a good actor for a while. <clears throat> oh, man. Dick Tracy's uh, legacy was tarnished. Because <laughs> that, that's when he got oh, yeah. framed. If you can't kill him, better frame him for murder. Moida. Literally just... They, they killed the, like, in-between manager guy that was, like, working for the police, but also oh, them at I'm the I'm sorry, he time. died in 2004. Oh, At right. age 80. I mean, he lived a good amount of time. That's that's good, I guess. I'm trying to remember other movies I've seen him in. Because I, I haven't seen the movie you mentioned. On the Waterfront. Mm-hmm. Honest Cop in The Slammer. You don't get too many of those. Oh, and he was also one of the first actors credited to be a uh, method actor. Oh, really? Yeah, so he actually helped, like, popularize that. Ha. He had 11 children. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's what happened. The, the, the DA agent got killed that was working with the mafia and the police at the same time. Yeah, the, the DA... Oh, yeah, the district attorney. Yeah, because... Uh, he was trying. He was running for mayor, and he wanted the big boy to actually help him get elected mayor. But he like fucked up or something, so they offed him. Yeah, to change of plans. Faith restored. His faith like restored. It, like it is a genuinely good movie. Yeah, I've really been enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it has all the same beats as your t- as your typical classic crime movie, just. It's really colorful and kind of cheesy. But it has a bunch of really weird-looking characters. Which is kind of definitely one of the fun parts of it. Like, it feels like you're watching an actual comic, which is something you don't get too often from these, at least more modern comic movies. It's kind of over the top nowadays. The party's over. This dude looks so upset. Just I mean, if I looked like that, I'd be pretty upset, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, they did kidnap Tess. I forgot about that. Well, they were fr- they were uh, framed for it at first from the blank, and then the- he actually did kidnap her. All the while yelling, "I didn't kidnap you." Oh yeah, but now I'm kidnapping you. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, he should have just dumped her like in the room with all the other people. Just should have just left her in there. She could have just like ran off or something. That too. That would have been the other option. I don't know why he dragged her across like half the town, panicking. I didn't kidnap her. It's like, bro, you're literally oh, kidnapping okay. her as we speak. I actually looked up Marlon Brando. Uh, on the waterfront was actually his fifth or sixth movie, but I think it was like one of the first major ones, or the one that uh, 
uh, that he uh, was in that actually made him re- more recognizable. All right. And apparently he was in also TV and he did some stage plays too. Huh. That's pretty cool. A city besieged. Oh, yeah, this it's is okay, when the... Uh, this is when the, all the, the gunfighting at the end. Yeah, The rest of the criminals get slaughtered. Yeah, because, like, they try and escape his uh, uh, big... Did you just fucking say escape? Yeah, they try to escape uh, Big Boy's <laughs> club um, with Tess while he's panicking and saying that he's not kidnapping her. Well, he was he escaped with her, and he had his he had his goons, like, escape I mean, yeah, and as like, a distraction so they didn't follow him. Like, he was in one of the and four cars some... as they all charged out of there, but then he, like, jumped out of the car and, like, just ran out the back of the building <laughs> instead. Yeah, because they made it want to look like he was still there, so he yeah. could get away, and he took the, they took this weird, like, unnecessarily complicated underground like rail route or some shit yeah it's like how did you even know this was down here and who built it <laughs> fighting fire with fire yo this is dick tracy with a freaking tommy gun what's cooler than that him slaughtering these criminals in cold blood i mean you've got a point oh which is the next card <laughs> goodbye flat top see you later uh, whoops, bumped the camera. Flat Top's final stand. Yeah, and that's the other thing. This was a PG movie, and <laughs> it just kills these dudes. All, these people get killed on the screen. God, I love the 90s. Same with the people at the beginning. Like, you just see people get just gun massacred on screen in a freaking PG movie. <laughs> it's always pretty funny. But this was also the, the era where people were still allowed one shit in a PG movie. Yeah. Death of a mobster. Or a couple dams. Maybe a hell. Yeah. Whoops. And while they were, you know, getting gunned down in the streets like the criminals yeah, got this. that they were. He, he, like, somehow knew this shit was underground. It's like some weird skinny rail system that's, like, not it's even like over leg three operated because he's like pushing them along. Yeah, it's it's like, like what the hell? He's like pushing with his legs. That's the kind of thing that would be used once in a story and then never even addressed again. That that's literally what happened, <laughs> and I love it. Wow, you're saying that abducted like... by Big Boy because he finally did kidnap her, despite claiming repeatedly he I did didn't not kidnap, kidnap her. her. <laughs> While fully panicking and kidnapping her. <laughs> I don't know. It was a silly ass movie, but I really enjoyed it. Was it was such a good movie. I definitely recommend watching it if you can find. We it only somewhere. rented it on YouTube, so we should actually get it on like Blu-ray or something. I'd love to get it on Blu-ray. This is yeah. really fun. Behind closed doors. Oh, Avery's so tired, but this has been a almost forty-eight minute video. So yeah, yeah. We don't have. I don't know, we don't have as much to say about these ones as we did about the cards from our last video, which those were just freaking horrible. But you wanted to you want to try and find more towers in time, right? Yeah, I'd like to see if we can find more. I love the art on it. It's just it really made no sense. Yeah, that's that was, why that they the released one set and nobody freaking bought it. Didn't they have like Trust three or four? Tess. Didn't they have like three or four other sets planned before the game in itself just kind of went under? Yeah, and I'm canceled? pretty sure all they got out was like the uh, Odin set or whatever. Yeah, it was uh, 150 cards. The deck we I got us was 56, so it was more than a third of the cards that actually exist. Oh, they had one of these goofy uh, style things. I know it's happened in a few other things, but like that are tied to this big moving gear. Again, so why like, not just her shoot head. her? Oh, they just go like the biggest wraparound ways to do things, and I love it. Because it gives the hero a chance to win. Because if you just shoot somebody, then... Then I guess it's just, it's over like that quickly. And why would you want to do that? Just end it right away. Hands you know? up, Kappa. <laughs> uh, drop your gun. A damsel in distress. Still in that big gear. You drop your gun or I'll crush your girlfriend's head with these gears. Yeah, like her head is like the only piece of it that's like actually in between the two gear sections. So that would have been really brutal if it actually reached her. <laughs> A damsel in distress. Squish. I just read that. That's the same thing on the front. My bad. God damsel. <laughs> We're almost done, buddy. Avery's just on Noel's uh, shoulder, just chattering angrily because he wants to go to bed. One last kiss. Oh yeah. Uh, it turns out that uh, Breathless was actually the blank, the, which the is faceless person, with which the is weird some, voice. which which they actually changed from the comics because in the comics he was his own character. 
and was actually a dude, and he had a grandson, I think, who also didn't have a face. Yeah. It was like Johnny No Face or something. I love this. Okay, give me a few seconds here to grab those uh, stickers. I dropped them on the ground. Wait, should we just lay the stickers out then? Well, I'm going to show them first because there's actually things on the back. And then it's, I'll like lay out the actual like design. It's just the it's just characters we've seen, though. Yep. Wait, hold the up. brow. Itchy. I just realized they didn't have a card in here of the actual DA, did they? I don't think they did. That's weird. Jake Itchy Rossi. See here, You're, he's named after it's your like favorite character right from All Dogs Go to Heaven. Oh man, Steve the Tramp. <laughs> Good God, that face! That is that is a mug that even a mother can't love. I mean, a lot of the characters in this are. That's hey. how, again, that's how you know they're bad. <laughs> Avery, where are you going, little man? It's the faceless felon. The black. Oh, they also have little titles too. Notorious gangsters. Gangster. That goes right there. Gangster. Al Big Boy Caprice. <laughs> Al Big Boy Pacino. I'm also just piecing it together while I do this. Sabotage. What? Prune face. Sabotage. Saboteur. Oh, these are their crimes. Oh, also, to some little extent. face. Manslaughter. Wait, how is sabotage a crime? Like, sabotaging what? Probably legal documents or something. Or that maybe crime scenes. That wouldn't be sabotage, though. That's those have different. Those have actual names. I'm not 100 percent sure of that. Oh man, considered armed and dangerous, the Stooge. I don't remember him. Weirdly enough, the Stooge. <laughs> I think he was just. Oh. I think the uh, some of yes. these were just the background characters and the ones that got off near the beginning. Probably. Like, I'm sure. I think. Uh, Influence. I think he was. Uh, one of the people at that freaking uh, big gang member meeting. You know, where the one dude got blown up. Oh. Actually, wait. Was he the oh. one that got blown up? I don't know. Okay, so this is uh, not part of those other ones. Oh. It's the same picture, just... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I mean, we're going to see the second flat top. Yeah, he murdered a lot of people. I mean, we only saw like five or six, but... Larceny? And the rodent. It's not a very... All right. Larceny's like money crimes, right? I think so. Anyways, yeah, so... I, I literally just showed you what it is, but that's actually what a completed version looks like. Just not set up very well because you suck at doing everything. <laughs> Here's a small one. You can see it all. Yeah, it was that same... We There was a card in the deck, too. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so... That Thanks. was Dick Tracy, the cards, based yeah. off the movie, which is based off the comics. <laughs> which is based off the creator's actual life. Oh, man. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you don't mind that we were kind of, like, all over the place in terms of what we were talking about. It's getting, whoops, it's getting late, and this is actually not fun to hold up. So we will be seeing you. Have a good night.